Hello. Hello. Welcome to Kingdoms and Castles. Yay. Yay. So, uh, new game. Yes. So um, you want to go with... Uh, summer. Summer. Is it summer? S-O-M-M-E-R-N. I guess so. You, okay. You want to go with easy? Yeah. Yeah. Easy's got enough going on in it. Mm-hmm. All right. And choose hmm. a land. Right here. Here so you like this? Did. Well, uh, so this is just offering up the whole map, right? Yeah. So you like this map? It's good? Yeah. All right. Choose um, your banner. I'll be that. Okay. Name your kingdom. Um. I think it's the kingdom of Hodge. Ah, uh, yeah. The kingdom of Hodge. Now, basically, this is a... It's it kind of... It cross between like a city building game and a strategy game. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's an interesting mix of things. The first time I played it, I, I sat down. I think I lost like a couple hours. So it's one of those games where I, I was like, nah, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. And then it was just like, you just get utterly sucked in. So you're basically going for fairly straightforward resources. You go for trees, rocks, um, just simple things that you would need to slowly start building your little hamlet when you start here. And as you go, it just gets more demanding in terms of the resources to build stuff. But you're literally like SimCity or any other game. You're trying to build a kind of coherent community. And so there is needs. So people, they will need a well. Yeah. They will need a church or a tavern or things for the community that they want. Like th those are the things they want. Um, you've got to manage food supply. And you're basically always kind of juggling, you know, the amount of food you're growing with your population which you can see down in the bottom left and every year yeah, people pass you. through and you have to make sure you have to, you have enough houses for everybody and as you do that um you're gonna then encounter waves of attacks so there'll be ogres and vikings and, and dragons that come and bug your people hmm. that's essentially it so hmm. you got your advisors in the castle they're they're like hey dude you should do this or that you know. In the late game, you kind of ignore them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, after I think after your first game, you kind of don't pay a lot of attention because you know what to look for. You want to tap on the military often because it will be like, okay, sir, you are right now being like... Attacked? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sir. <laughs> you like that part? You like being called sir? Yeah. Excuse me, old man. You're like, yes, I am. Excuse me, bearded one. Like I'm nine, but sure, I'll take it. You can click on them. Le recently stepped in the mud. It's so ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> Terrified of catching the plague. Terrified of catching the plague. Yeah, well, they should be. The plague's awful. So mm -hmm. a plague will come every once in a while and wipe out a bunch of people. Oh. I keep thinking it's like escape because I played a lot of Planetary Annihilation Titans. You've been playing... Yeah, this this finally broke you off of your Titans uh, addiction. Mm-hmm. I think that's what we could only call it. You, you've you been playing a lot of Titans in the past while. It overtook all of your other gaming. Yeah. Oh. It, and it resets it after each winter, I think. Oh, the, what, the, uh, the build speed. commands? Really? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. No. Nah. Like, I wasn't on normal speed. I was on fast speed. I don't know. Well, we'll pay attention. We'll see. And there there is seasons in the game, which is kind of nice. So there's some there's some building rules like you have yeah. to have roads uh, leading to a lot of things and you the way you're trying to accommodate um, your your agriculture wants to be in like good agricultural zones so like the dark green stuff is better to grow on than the yeah. you know it's pretty obvious stuff that's what I loved about it why I got sucked in immediately with this game is that it's pretty intuitive what you're supposed to do mm -hmm. like it made a lot of sense it was pretty obvious it was like oh oh. And then you realize, okay, so for my second game, like it within one game, you definitely got it down. And then you're yeah. like, okay, here's how I would try to do it better. But what I love about these kinds of games is that you're always, that's the key word, try. Cause you're always trying to do better, but you're still gonna screw up. Mm -hmm. You're still gonna totally like lose, but it's always fun. I, I like that process of trying to optimize. It's like uh, project management in game form. You're like, how can I try to do this better? So you can see these houses are less, the, the citizens in these ones are less happy than the ones yeah. right next to the road. Because they want roads. 
So you have to have some kind of municipal planning. Like, how do you... But it can't just be crazy town either, right? Like, you have to have some structure. Otherwise, you use up all of your good land. Yeah. So like this is barren land. You can't do anything with it. Right. So that's a good place to go and build your residential. So you're kind of building a town plan almost. Like, okay. a, like a neighborhood or a, um, some kind of city. You're doing municipal planning, essentially. Hmm. Okay. I do love that you, you see the people going farming and you've got stockpiles. So these people need kind of, you need to optimize how they bring this junk back to um, a centralized place because they're wasting a lot of time. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So they, you're trying to keep them basically, keep them occupied, but yeah. make it so that they're not walking the half the distance of the map each round or they don't do anything. At least it's oh, way I, un I understand it. Oh, uh, clo closed open. Okay. In some ways, this reminds me of, uh, there was another game I was playing the other day. Was that Ry Rhymed Capsule? Yeah. What's it called? There were, I'll, I'll do a Let's Play of that soon here, because it's a fun, it's way even more abstract than this. You're basically building, like, a space station, but it's, like, just Absurd. Sh sheer abstraction. Almost looks more like Tetris. And... But it, it is that same idea of you got little workers that you watch go off and do stuff. And you're like, hurry up, come on, build the thing, move the resources. There's something very satisfying about that in the game, though. So what are they? They're, mm, they're happy. So we 76% happen. happiness. Perfect. But in order to do... So did you build a... Uh, in your castle, you need to have a treasure, treasure room in order to tax. But we need tons But you need stone. stone. So and then that's the thing. Now he's built a quarry out on those stone. So only the light stone are it, useful. The yeah. rest are just a pain. They're just in your way. It's interesting Dark you can't stones. you can't just get rid of them, can you? At any point. Like, uh, you can. Oh, you can. How do you get rid of them? Uh, cast or industry rock mo removal. Oh man, I totally didn't even get. Like, but it costs two tools. Or yeah. Ten, no, I didn't even pay attention to that. I was so busy ten. dealing with everything else that I never even noticed that. I just that's, let him build it awesome. in my castle. I build well, around them. But that's great. Of. Eventually, you can remove it and just expand your castle right a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that's good. So you can build a, a tower with a ballista or something to help protect you. Mm -hmm. we, you want to build castle locks, but... So you've got this advantage. Like, you're building right up on the water, which is great because mm -hmm. the agricultural land is good. But it's you're going to be prone to Viking attacks. Yeah. Oh, I forgot that I... Yeah, uh, that's bad. But that's a good agricultural land. You've also got that little bit of land on y your right there. And also... That is this... not accessible by the outside. Yeah. That's really good land. If you build um, if you build houses here, they like the beach. Uh, the mm. land on the left now. There's that little bit stripped by the water. Yeah, right here. Yeah, they can't get into that little body of water. That's like a lake. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. And yeah, all that woodland is pretty good. So and the other idea is that you hire different kinds of people. So you've got a forester that works the forest. Mm -hmm. But they also seem to be kind of like stewards of the forest because they, they cut down trees, but they also plant trees. So mm -hmm. you're, not com you're not stripping the forest. So you kind of need them for sustainable resources. Yes. And also your quarry. I don't think you ever deplete a rock supply in this game, do you? Ah, uh, yeah. You, they just mine forever. And I think the other main thing is iron that you get to eventually, but I don't. Oh, dragon sighted. Uh oh. We haven't even built anything. No, what's to a dragon? Destroy the dragon. What's a dragon gonna do? Like, I don't know. Burn our whole town down, probably. And this is at the beginning of the game. So, that stone production is just how many? How much stone do you need for a tower? Uh, fifteen. I've nearly got it. Oh man. Fourteen. <laughs> 16, there you go. You can build a tower. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you can't. You don't have the wood. Come on, forester. Get busy there. The forestering hut is not built yet. Oh, they're still building that. Come on, guys. We'll just let him let him do his thing once it's built. Then it doesn't strip all your forest down. There you go. Now you can build your... Uh, 
You can build your tower. Average home happiness. Yeah. Happy enough, I guess. So, outside of, you know, managing your resources, which I like that they don't overload you. Like, you can see your resources on the bottom mm -hmm. bar. There isn't a lot of resources that you're trying to manage, yeah. which is... You know, eventually you gotta you build a little thing to um, create coal because you people need it for heating and all that. Uh, that'll make them happier in the winter, I think. They want wants access to charcoal. But they don't. Uh, I like that there's a, a highly like a very Ooh, limited. Oh, I've got a small village now. Perfect. The at first I thought, oh, this looks really limited. But it's the it's a nice amount of options that you have. You don't they don't overload you with stuff like I'm. It's not. I didn't have to do a tutorial to play this game. Yeah. You're not getting like just puked at with options, which sometimes in these games is as much of it's so daunting because you're like, okay, I need to al allocate two hours to learn how to play this game, and then I'm gonna be so tired. I'm not gonna want to play it again for a month, and then I'll forget how to play it and have to do the tutorial. I think I'm like that with. Uh, which game was it? I think it was End, uh, Endless Legend or something. I, I've just not properly gotten into the game because it's it's such a time allocation that I just I like I don't have the time for it. Yeah. Whereas this, it was like boom, you're in it, you're playing it, and that I like that. The the commitment level was a little lower. You can just have fun. That said, I don't know in the long play how this is going to go, but. I feel like I could play this for quite a while without getting uh, bored. And because of the being able to move it on high speed, you can see we've already, I mean, we're, what are we, like you know, just over 10 minutes in and we're you've got 12, a- Year 12. Yeah, you've got a little, you know- Village. You got a little village going, a little hamlet, what is it? What do they call it? Is it a hamlet then a village? Yeah. And so you're, it's not a really slow build. It's pretty quick. I'm just building things like crazy. So you're increasing your citizens' happiness, and now yeah. that you got the resources, oh, do you have a do you have a bullet, um, archers or anything on top of your tower? Uh, no, I'm saving. You're trying to build the yeah, tower higher. I'm saving up, but I need I need the treasure room. Oh, so that stone production's coming along. So the one it, definitely it's it's this balancing act between. Um, how many of your citizens that you use like you can see he's got uh 25 citizens and he's got 25 beds so that means if anyone new comes into town they can't live here yeah so he's continually having to build more housing in order to accommodate people that pass through and then they'll they'll occupy the homes then they go to work but if you have say too many fields you end up tying up all your people uh farming and then no one will go and do construction yeah so you're continually trying to like manage the the number of different uh things you have going on s to prevent people from like all doing the same thing so it forces balance in the game in a way because if you go crazy on one thing you end up kind of kneecapping yourself so you're like oh i got to destroy a bunch of these farms because everybody's farming it's yeah. like way over the top <clears throat> excuse me that's the problem recording in the morning. I'm all Horace. Mm -hmm. So what's the part that you like about this game? Uh, I don't really know yet. It's just fun building a civilization. Do you like the idea that it you when you played it the first time, that you just got going so fast? Oh, you're on fire. Oh no. And not in a good way. Eventually, uh, when you have a, uh, I think it's the stonemason, you can repair your structures easily. Oh, come on. Oh, that didn't actually burn it to the ground. That's good. Mm -hmm. Quite often it burns to rubble and then you're like, oh, come on. Mm, yeah. I wonder if it, is it because the, all the people were very close by, they could put it out easily? Yeah, it's the lake. Oh. And, hmm, what do I want to build? I'm waiting for that treasure room. So you need, oh, 50. Okay, so you're almost there. Mm-hmm. I'm just getting nervous expecting an attack. Oh, yeah. So I'm pretty soon you'll be able to go, oh, there's a, that nice outcropping of stone to your right there. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Uh, do I, I'm going to wait for the treasure room. Are you? Yeah. Oh, but yeah, I need the treasure room to get the archer's tower. Ah, there you go. 
So I think that placement you had it right beside the castle is pretty good. Right here. Yeah, because then right it's here, it's protected. Yeah. Oh, but I want to place it in barren land. Ah, because, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Good call. We've got a small granary. And you want the people to get it, get the food because... Look at how fast they're putting it in there. Yeah. It's, so there's, they're not wasting anything and they're, you're not going to lose any of your crops during the, as we're going into winter here. Yeah. So you want them to clear those fields as best as, and fast as possible. Yeah. And you also need to have the storage room or else you lose a bunch of food and rats get it or whatever. Yeah. I think this was, it, I think it said in the Steam page for this, is this was one of the, uh, or it was the first game that was funded by, uh, there's a thing called Fig. It's like, I think, I, I've only looked at it briefly in the past. I think it was, it's kind of a Kickstarter-y idea, but I, it works somehow a little different. But it was uh, funded through that, and it, I think it, it totally exceeded its funding uh, ambitions. I can definitely see why. It's, it's very cute. Yeah. The advisors, the advisors are good, but they're kind of annoying. Yeah. What if I, you can, you can probably turn them off. Yeah. But like you said, I guess later on you want to actually pay attention to what they're saying. We're going to have to close some of our farms. Is there too much? Mm -hmm. Everyone's working on farms, not on the new house. Well, you've got uh, 37 beds. You're almost at capacity for bed wise. Uh -huh. That's the reason I'm building another Oh, So cottage. you're 17. Oh, we couldn't attract any new residents. Yeah. The, the the peasants are too unhappy. Why are they unhappy? Oh, because I'm taxing them. Oh, well, yeah, careful your tax rate, dude. I have 44 now, so. Okay. Average home ha happiness, 40, 84. Um, oh, there you go. Your happiness is going up. They're like, yay, the evil warlord stopped taxing us. So are you just building municipal structures now? Like, you built a town square. You have a well? Oh, tavern. Okay, I need to build okay. a tavern. Okay, there you go. Mm, right here at the barren land. And then you'll be able to build... Uh, oh, wants access to charcoal? Well, there is... What's that? There is charcoal. Yeah, you got the charcoal dude working. Mm -hmm. oh, the, is he not producing enough? He's producing some. I think you just haven't started stockpiling it yet, really. Yeah. And uh, so you have a granary. Do you have a stockpile? Uh, no. Oh, you definitely need a, need one of those, I think. Small stockpile. Yeah, that'll do to start. May as well build a, another extension. Building that tower up? Mm -hmm. See, that's one of the... I think that's the only structure, really, that you're worried about building high because then you get a better range. Mm -hmm. You stack that one. The rest all builds out in a nice, like, isometric g little map we have. Hmm. That granary's not doing well. No, what is it? Uh, it's really, really full. It's really no. It's oh, you're pushing capacity, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't worry too much. They're eating it, right? Hmm. Nice. Oh, so six of which found a home. So you're at capacity again for houses. So you need to build another, some more we housing. Need more homes. So this now becomes the point where the game really starts cooking. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I would keep them over in that area where you've got all this residential, you, like you had that. Now you could build, uh, those bigger houses are also more efficient. So you've got your hovels that hold nice. five. And okay. then the other things hold plus like eight happiness, 15. Plus eight happiness, plus eight happiness, plus five happiness. Good. So your happiness is happiness. Ni says 97, which is uh, shockingly you high. Tax them Enjoy that one. for one second. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Already going down. Because <laughs> I tax them. <laughs> already, already plummeting. <laughs> uh, trending towards 85. Minus one. No. Or minus two. No churches available. Or libraries. Um, and you need... 15. The very so fertile land is in the... In the forest. Yeah. But you... Yeah, I guess. And then you have to have your woodcutter maybe out a bit further. And then yeah. build a stockpile for your woodcutter. 
Also, where yeah, you need to stockpile over by your your mine. Oh yeah. So maybe between off the side of the orchard up there, that might be a good mm -hmm, place to put right a stockpile. Okay. Yeah, and then everybody can dump their garbage there instead of First hauling I'm it. First, I'm gonna build a library. There you go. Or I can't. So I'll build it right. That was a good place you were trying, I think. Oh yeah, there you go. Everybody. Or but the cottage doesn't get any church. I meant the um, library. Hmm, we might have to build two. Why? Because the this doesn't oh, get any. Well, that's a good point. That's a good start. Although the the cottage houses more people. Mm -hmm. Oh, has no wants access to road. Okay, we'll do a road. Deal. Oh yeah, uh, up top there, your coal mine is in the way of the road. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, so chop. <laughs> and this is where the uh, the SimCity element of it gets uh, bananas, where you're trying to like accommodate, um, you're trying to accommodate like all of these weird demands mm -hmm. that are all kind of competing against each other. I'm waiting for the the big attacks to start happening. I feel like soon, soon it's all going to fall apart on you. You're doing well now, Zane. You're doing well now. Oh, now you got the archery tower. Oh, yeah. you you know it. Yeah, it's funny. You're playing at the right, um, the right height. I was playing the game at a. I think my as soon as you start getting really big with your uh, your little village, I started playing the game uh, zoomed out farther. Mm -hmm. But then the, I found the clouds really annoying because they would constantly fly by my view. Yeah. So you're playing at a good height, but as soon as you get really big, you're trying to pay attention to like stuff catching on fire and things. <laughs> you're like, ah, so yeah, like every second something catches on fire. Yeah, basically, and then yeah, I found the clouds really annoying at that height. But mm -hmm. this is you're playing at a nice height because then you can still see all the details and not have clouds continually like flood across your screen. Mm -hmm. I'll put one right next to that and then that. Okay. Mm. Uh oh. What? Improving paths to a granary would help. Well, I already have a granary. What are they saying? They improving granary, improving improving paths to a granary would help. Oh, improving paths to it. Well, it's not about having it. It's is it accessible? I guess. Yeah. From so these guys, you can just walk over. Right. So that's the problem is the orchard guy's way up there. So you got your agriculture Our zones city is full. kind we of broken, more. broken apart. There you go. What is a rotate key in this game again? What? There's a rotate key. E. E, is it? Or R. R is to rotate, I think. Let's try bridge. Uh, E... Uh, no. I swear it was something. It took me a bit. I was like, what is it? And then it finally popped up on me. Oh, you wouldn't be able to rotate that. Oh, R to rotate building. Oh, there you go. Okay. Or click middle mouse button. Okay, so that's cool. And I love that when you click on a house... It shows you all of the demands and stuff. Or when you like, you click on a stockpile. Oh, you got a fire there. Uh oh. You click on a stockpile or a, gr a granary. You click on it and it opens the top of the roof off, and you can look yeah. inside. That's really cute. That's a cute little. Um, that's a cute feature. I like that. Mm. Oh, the forest caught fire. <laughs> Good lightning. times. Good times. That's very. That's that's reality. Okay. Uh, that has plus eight happiness, plus eight happiness, plus eight happiness. Like your your like levels dropped a bunch there too. I love watching this game from a, 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 a in the passenger seat because I'm actually I'm getting a moment to like pay attention to weird details in this game that I was not looking at before. Yeah. Okay, that's very fertile land. But yeah, it's making me uh, 
It's making me appreciate it even more. It It is the right amount of detail, like uh, graphically. Yeah. It's not overwhelming. It's quite simple. You can see everything that's going on. It, it's hard with these kinds of games because they I think they fight against their own genre like they they want to they want to be simplistic and cute looking but at the same time they want to appear to have enough sophistication to you know please the audience of these kinds of games mm -hmm. well your house is on fire already well the shoddy construction I think is what happened there yeah. Oh, but, we need more homes again. We've gotten 76 what? people. Hmm. That's excellent. Moving on in. We got that nice chunk of land right beside your tower there that you just uh -oh. built. One sec. Um, beside your tavern. We need to create a road coming out. Oh, come on. Oh, R. Yeah. Oh, come on. That, that. And then. Hmm. There. You can keep those guys working next to each other. You got the one. Oh, you got the one up by the forest. Yeah, but that says. They say that it's like A too hazard? far away. Oh, really? Too far away. So they like to be able to haul it right to their homes? Mm-hmm. Ah. But it can't be right near the homes because they you get a uh, decreased happiness for the smoke that it produces. Yeah. So yeah, like we said at the beginning, I like the, the engine hides a lot of the... Uh, like it, the interface looks very clean and simple. The amount of information being coughed out at you is not excessive. So when I'm looking at these menus, I'm always like, oh, interesting. I'm always noticing new things. There is a lot packed in here, but it's just the right amount. I never felt like, oh gosh, this is horrible. I'm, I don't, this is too much coming at me. Yeah. Like how long do you think it felt, it took for you to, to understand the game? Uh, I don't know. It's like simple. So maybe an hour. And then you felt like you had some control. Mm -hmm. Who? Okay. Granary. I'm waiting for the big attack to happen here. Yeah. Soon. Well, you know what we should do, Zane? Let's take a break and we'll come back. And uh, next time we'll see if we can survive the dragons and Vikings and ogres who. Yeah. I feel like you're 29. Pretty soon they're going to start coming at you. Yes. They're going to be like, I, I think the treasury's got some money in it now. Yeah. Oh, seventeen dollars. <laughs> All right. Until next time. Uh, until next time. Bye bye.